Hi, and welcome to Internet Credibility, Part 3, Rumors and Wikipedia. The Internet is full of believable hoaxes. For example, there's one going around right now that Facebook is giving away free BMWs. False. Where did I find out that it was false? I investigated it on Snopes.com. This is the definitive internet reference source for urban legends, folklore, myths, rumors, and misinformation. So, go to Snopes.com if you ever want to check out an internet rumor. What about Wikipedia? Well, first let's define what Wikipedia is. A wiki is a website that allows users to add and update content on that site. That's both the big strength and the big weakness of Wikipedia. Anybody can put anything on Wikipedia. Notice that when you look at the entry for Chafee Joint Union High School District, that when we see the history of the district, the schools, high schools, every entry there is editable. So anyone can go in there and edit the information about our district. Notice that Wikipedia does a disclaimer. They make no guarantee of validity. Wikipedia is an online open content collaborative encyclopedia. Please be advised that nothing here has necessarily been reviewed by people with the expertise required to provide you with complete, accurate, or reliable information. In other words, no guarantees means you have to approach Wikipedia as a research source with extreme caution. Here's some examples of articles that have been edited on Wikipedia. Senators Joe Biden and Dianne Feinstein's staff both edited their Wikipedia page. That's back when Joe Biden was the senator from Delaware. He's now the vice president of the United States. And Apple added negative comments on Microsoft's Wikipedia page. And Microsoft added negative comments on Apple's Wikipedia page. Now, can you ever use Wikipedia? Well, maybe. It's excellent for an overview or pop culture research. That's one way that I use Wikipedia as a librarian. I use it to get an overview of an issue, but I don't necessarily use the information in the Wikipedia article. So for example, if I were doing research on the Civil War, I might use a Wikipedia article as an outline for my research, not necessarily the content in the Wikipedia article. Let me show you a few reasons why I don't use Wikipedia as a research source. First of all, a lot of teachers say it's okay to use Wikipedia, but there's all kinds of warning signs. For example, this Wikipedia article about religion in Iraq tells you that it needs additional citations for verification. And it says, please help improve this article by adding citations to reliable sources. In other words, this is a red flag that you should not use this article for your research. Let's look at another article. This article on Luciano Pavarotti, the famous opera singer, has been locked due to vandalism. That means that many articles may be vandalized and you don't know about them. And this one in particular has been locked to everyone who is not a registered user. So that is another warning sign. Here's another article with a warning sign. This article on Imelda Marcos. Notice that it says this article or section is in the process of a, an expansion or major restructuring. So whenever you see one of these banners up at the top of a Wikipedia article, it's a warning sign. Be very careful about using it. So this is another way that librarians use Wikipedia. We use the sources and links inside the articles. In other words, when you go down to the very bottom of a Wikipedia page, you'll see references. Now I'm looking at the references here and I see a lot of what I consider credible sources. For example, number three, French troops sent into Central African Republic in an effort to stop bloodshed is from The Guardian, an online British newspaper that has a very high degree of credibility. So I would actually follow that link rather than using the Wikipedia article and use The Guardian article as one of my credible resources. Just remember, Download the quick review guys if you need help remembering any of the information in these videos. 
and we are done.